oxalates are present in the healthiest of foods that we can imagine. But this can become an issue when an individual does not have the oxalate metabolizing bacteria and enzymes in the gut. Oxalates are crystallized and can cause pain, inflammation and high anxiety. So in this video we will discuss what is oxalate and what is oxalate dumping. And also strategies to identify if oxalate is an issue and foods which are high in oxalates to avoid. If this is of interest to you, we recommend you stick around till the end of the video. What is oxalate dumping coming up? This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell icon. As this will ensure that you get notified every time we release a new video. Disclaimer. The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for information purposes. So always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Now coming back to the topic, let's understand what is oxalate. There are many very healthy foods that contain oxalates. Have you ever been in a situation where you went the healthy way to include a lot of greens and added amaranth and buckwheat to go gluten free and all of a sudden you start feeling worse? Oxalates could be at play here. Oxalates are formed from oxalic acid and oxalic acid is an organic acid. And the sources of these are mainly three, food, fungus and human metabolism. Among the organic acids in the body, oxalic acid is one of the most acidic in nature. And just for your information, the commercial use of oxalic acid is to remove rust from car radiators. Apart from food, when oxalates are generated by yeast or fungus, the root cause of these fungal infections or dysbiosis needs to be treated to reduce the formation of oxalic acid in the body. Oxalates are present in plants as a natural defense from pests and predators. And these are like natural pesticides for plants to defend themselves. The oxalate crystals can prick in the mouth of the pests and deter them from eating. It is also a mechanism by which plants regulate calcium. So when we eat the plants, these crystals are distributed inside the body, including the kidneys, the gut joints, circulatory system and the heart, causing inflammation and pain. This can cause a lot of discomfort and anxiety to an individual who might not understand why suddenly the reason for this downturn in health despite following a very healthy lifestyle. In such cases, it is essential to diagnose if oxalate is at the root of these health issues. Let's understand some high oxalate symptoms. How to identify if oxalates are causing your health issues? Well, this is a difficult task as symptoms of oxalate could be very generic in nature pointing to various other illnesses. Following us on the symptoms linked to oxalates and are suggested to be checked if you believe oxalates might be at the root of the problem. Dizziness, fibromyalgia, migraines, brain fog, urinary issues, joint pain or stiffness, inflammatory bowel disease, kidney stones. And out of all the symptoms listed here, kidney stones are probably the most common symptoms of oxalate being at play in the body. So any individual susceptible to kidney stones should at all points in time avoid oxalate rich foods. What are the symptoms of oxalate dumping? Oxalate dumping happens when the body tries to rid itself of oxalates too quickly. And symptoms could be pain experienced during urinating or pooping, grainy stools, yeast flare and associated irritability. It is seen that individuals on the autism spectrum disorder have elevated levels of oxalates as compared to neurotypical individuals. And this becomes extremely difficult to diagnose as these kids cannot express themselves properly and the pain from oxalate can manifest in behavioral issues and meltdowns. There is a high correlation between yeast and oxalate production among individuals on the autism spectrum and may point to the direction that intestinal gut dysbiosis with high yeast could be one of the culprits for high oxalates among them. But it is not recommended to stop high oxalate foods all at once as this can lead to oxalate dumping. And this is because when the food sources of oxalates are entirely restricted, the body tissues start releasing oxalates and start dumping. So while eliminating oxalates, go slow in reducing high oxalate foods to avoid symptoms of dumping. It is recommended to list down all the high oxalate rich foods which you are consuming and take one at a time to slowly eliminate from the diet over a period of time. Boiling vegetables rather than steaming them also help in reducing the amount of oxalate in the foods. And by doing this, one can potentially reduce 10 to 15% of the oxalate content. Let's understand some tests to identify oxalate. As oxalic acid is an organic acid, the best way to detect the amount of oxalate in the body is to run an organic acid test or OAT. 
But you need to be careful about ordering this organic acid test as not all labs cover oxalic acid in oat. How to identify if genes are playing a part? A deficiency of the enzyme alanine glyoxalate aminotransferase or AGT leads to the accumulation of glyoxalic acid. And glyoxalic acid can be converted to glycolate or to oxalate. Thus, an oat with elevated glycolate, glyoxalate and oxalate can point to hyperoxaluria type 1 or 2 or B6 deficiency. Let's understand some testing for oxalates. To understand if oxalates are the root of the issues, an organic acid test can throw a lot of light. A combination of the markers listed below could be considered while evaluating the role of oxalates in your health. Oxalic acid. This is a clear marker and if found high then oxalates are an issue. Arabinose. This is an indicator of candida. A high marker of these means an underlying candida overgrowth which can also be linked to a high oxalate marker in the body. Glycolic acid. Indicator of hyperoxaluria type 1, a genetic disorder. Glyceric acid. This is an indicator of hyperoxaluria type 2, a genetic disorder as well. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C. If free copper is very high, then vitamin C can convert to oxalates. So, it is necessary to check the zinc copper ratio and accordingly come to a suitable dose of vitamin C so that it does not convert to oxalates. Pyridoxic acid. This is an indicator of vitamin B6 intake, which is required to clear oxalates. Furan decarboxylic acid and hydroxymethylfuroic acid. These are markers for fungi like aspergillus and one of the proven sources of oxalates. Bacterial markers. A high marker points to gut dysbiosis with potentially low amounts of beneficial bacteria to degrade oxalates. Now let's understand some potential treatments of high oxalate. There are a few ways by which you can target oxalates. Antifungals. You can use antifungals to treat any underlying fungal infections in the body. Because fungus is linked to high oxalate production. Calcium citrate. Calcium citrate reduces the absorption of oxalate in the gut and it is recommended to have calcium citrate with every meal. N acetyl glucosamine. This helps to stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid which can reduce the pain from oxalates. Chondroitin sulfate. This helps in preventing calcium oxalate crystals. Vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is a cofactor to degrade oxalates and reduce production. Increase water. Increase water intake to flush out oxalates. Taurine. Taurine helps in bile salt production and absorption of fatty acids leading to a reduction in oxalates. Probiotics. Probiotics are helpful in degrading oxalates. And especially enzymes of Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidobacterium lactis can degrade oxalates. Omega-3 fatty acids. Here high quality fish oil or cod liver oil is very helpful. And contrary to this, Omega-6 increases oxalates. And it is also recommended to reduce grain-fed meat. Vitamin E, selenium and arginine. All of these have shown to reduce oxalates. Go for a low oxalate diet. Slowly reduce and finally eliminate high oxalate foods. Vitamin C. Go slow on ascorbic acid. A complete list of high oxalate foods is provided in the blog, the link of which is included in the description of the video below. In conclusion. Many of us might not be aware of the many healthy foods that we are consuming can potentially be high in oxalates. And it is recommended to do an organic acid test from a lab that covers oxalic acid. A reduction in oxalate rich foods and treating any underlying markers like yeast and bacterial overgrowth can help reduce the issues with oxalates. And many herbal supplements are very high in oxalate content and need to be carefully reviewed before incorporating. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.